Now I'm just uh, continuing our get together, as it were, here in the Franciscan Friary. I am just literally, if I can use this word gobsmacked with what I have seen and learned so far from Billy Maguire and Anthony Sheehy. Now here in the Friary is an imprint or sculpture of St. Francis of Assisi. Right. Now, just talk to us a little bit about uh, that, Anthony. Well, the situation is this. Uh, he had a stigmata of trace wounds yes. on his hands and his feet and on his, uh, he on his side. Now, his face is very smooth because legend tells us that if you suffer from a toothache, you came in here at midnight and you give the statue a kiss and your toothache disappeared. Right. I'm right. sure a lot of young people coming in here uh, wouldn't be uh, going in for the cure. I don't think they would be kissing us. Well, well, it certainly wouldn't be for toothaches. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, just to give you a story, uh, uh, the story about St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis of Assisi was born in 1182. When he was born, he was christened Giovanni di Pietro di Bernardone. His father, Pietro, was in the continent on business buying court, so when he returned, he changed his son's name to Francesco or Francis. Growing up as a young man, he had so much money on him, he just didn't know what to do with it. It seems he was a great singer and a great companion for the night out in the town. Who would mind meeting him all the time? <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> he built the first Christmas crib uh, in, in Greco in December 1123. On the 17th of September, he was in Laverno, Florence, where he received a stigmata of <coughs> ice wounds. My goodness. Now he did a few preaching tours before returning to Assisi. He died on the 4th of October, 1226. Um, he, um, so, I mean, that's a little bit of information. No, it is fantastic. Now, can I just go back on one thing, and, and, and thanks, Anthony, because I remember visiting a couple of years ago Assisi. And I saw the crypt that he lived in, in the monastery. And it was like a, like a mud hut yes. on the centre of the floor. That's how humble and impoverished a man wanted to be. And then outside, we were told by our tour guide that, and we got it, it, it was there. It was, there was nothing on the, the actual uh, rose bush but the scent of the roses would overcome you. And it was called the miracle of St. Francis that he, his presence was still there. Now, I just remember, and you just recall that, Anthony, and thank but you. But it's so important that all these Spanish people and these Italian people, <laughs> yes. they were all coming here. But they were, this yeah. For the just information. And, for the, and that's what, that's what uh, Christopher Columbus came here for. They, the monks, you know, he, he came to Galway, as we know, and we, he came to Limerick, we know. But this is where they, they had, this is what the Franciscans had kept. And that's what's the important link uh, uh, with Kukonet Maguire, yes. is that he was honoured and buried in the habit of, in the, the, habit of the Franciscans. In, could be, uh, in actual fact, his body was hidden in 1230, basically stolen, because relics were very precious. And his body was, 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 was discovered under a pillar in the Basilica in 1818. That's the story. My goodness. My God. No, you did not. No, it's fascinating. It's just the... the, take, the take that now, please. And we will... Oh, yes, I want to show you. Um, this is what they were teaching in this. Yes. You, know, you see the circle there? You see the hole that you put down that? This is the Abram and Moses. There's no sun now. Yes. So we haven't... That's why we did it at the beginning. That's known as the Abram and Moses stick. They came out of this. If you put that down, yes, that's your only way. In those days, there was no. The people didn't know. No. And they didn't know. <laughs> you know. So we have the grid and the graph. Very important. Right. That's the blueprint for your boat or your ship. Right. It's on the harp. That's what's so important. And that's the key to the ship for the Atlantic Ocean. And this is how you build it. You take your 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 laps. Right. Yes. And you, you you build your ship, and then uh, that is basically that's the sun box, the sound box. Well, if you look at any of those boats that are still <coughs> flying in 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 uh, um, you know in Egypt and that on the Nile, yes, you'll see all that. That's the design of them, 
and that's the design of your ship and that's for the Atlantic Ocean the the Spanish caravels were that circular yes you, you, you know and you couldn't control them right but you could control them on you had to have a keel to control them and that's what's so important look Yes. Latitude, longitude, that's what's so important. Look down there. Mm -hmm. You see it? I do, yeah. And, and, uh, and uh, how you put the two together. You see the grid and the graph? I do, yes. Latitude, longitude. That's the only way you know where America is and how you can go there and come back. So that's why Christopher Columbus came here. That's why. And he, he learned from the Franciscans. So the Franciscans had kept that. And the old Irish monks, you know, they were. it was known as the island of saints and scholars. Scholars, yes. And they brought all that to Europe. Right. And they brought it to America by Christopher Columbus and that. That's what it was. Just for. absolutely And that's why they were given that information. Now, could I just divert for one there? minute? You can. Anthony, yes. was that the courtyard where they used to say their prayers? <coughs> this area here, this was here. the covered passage where, where the monks walked around and prayed and meditated. I see. Around here. Yeah. yeah. All, all around, yes. My goodness. Do you want any more of that? You, no, no, I, I'm fine. You have enough of that. How men learn to rise, and yeah. how men learn to you know, But you're, we're, we're, uh, we're steeped in this. There, look, there's 1,200, at least. At, probably much before that. And that's what they were keeping that information. And it's so important, keeping that information. Oh, absolutely. To pass on to us here today. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I just wanted to this, take... That's why it's just so important that Anthony kept... Only for Anthony, gone. sure, the whole place would be gone. Now, Anthony, this uh, this is a close-up of the inscription you were describing, yes. like a Viking. Well, you see, what I'm saying here, looking at that, it's like a Viking headdress. Yes. First of all. Like with the two horns at yes, the top. Yes, yes. But I maintain, it's my opinion, that this, in actual fact, was the longbow where they were firing the arrow. Ah, uh, I get you. Yes. That's what I think now. Maybe right. I could be wrong. Anthony, just come over here to me because I, I mean, you, point, <laughs> you pointed out something in another inscription here in the stone. And it says, beneath lies the pilgrim body who died I, I, I got that stick for you. in January. What year was that, Anthony, this inscription here? You, you... Beneath lies the pilgrim's body who died January the 17th, 1784. Right. And this is a, the pilgrim who was here, that Don Martinez Mendoza. That's he was a Spanish merchant. So Spanish. he was killed here, was he? Uh, no, but he, he, was, he, he, he was buried here. He was buried here. He was. Right. So I won't go any further than that now. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody took the time to go around here... It's just fascinating. If you look at this, John, take a photograph of that. Yes, yes. The heart is, 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 has only one image. Yes. And because we didn't bring in... A seal with us. If we brought the seal, look. Yes. The seal. It is two images. Oh, see I the see way, it. Yes, the way it turns no, the other sorry, way around. I do. Yes. See it? Look at it that way. Yeah. That is that's Christianity, but it's Celtic Christianity. That's Anno Domini. That's what that comes. And Rome changed all that to two angels. Oh, Rome changed an awful lot. And look, <laughs> the two five-string tops. Yes. That you're born in the image of God. That's what it is, and that's where sovereignty comes from God, whereas uh, the royalty. And the proclamations are man-made. That's the difference between. But the can two. I can I make a, a comment here, on one thing? If if we were as Christians worldwide to go back to our Celtic Christianity, maybe we'd be better off. Maybe we'd have a deeper faith in the world. Well, it would be to do with planet Earth. It, it, the sovereignty is uh, for God uh, 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 and man's. Uh, you, you know, your intellect and your reason and your five senses. Yes. And it is uh, for his planet Earth and our civilization. We're supposed to look after our own civilization for our own people. That's what we're, that's is, that's what we're tasked to do. Yes. But you, you know the way it's abused and corrupt. Of course. It is unbelievable. That goes on. <coughs> and the crisis here, by the way, just Please, record, yeah. No. These are some of the best complete cloisters in all of Ireland, what we have here on the skate. Here? Yeah. Now, a cloister was a so sort a, of... A cloister is a covered passageway where the monks will walk around, pray and meditate. Yes. They speak around the square. I see. And also then, they had a chapel then for evening oh, prayer. Well, <coughs> yes. We've gone in there in a moment. 
right? Do you want to walk around that for one, to walk around the whole thing, the background here? Billy, do you want me to meditate? I do, I do. You <laughs> It might do me no harm. See, if I was giving the tour here, it would take an hour and a quarter. Of course it would, yes. Oh. Yeah. Because I won't do that in detail, you know? No, I'm just actually walking around the, the cloister as uh, erected by Elizabeth Reedy and it's all of the, it's going back hundreds, hundreds of years. And this is actually the route where the monks would actually, as Tony Sheehy said, would be meditating and praying during their daily lives in the abbey here. Absolutely just in, in, in incredible. And you can see all the old headstones and slabs that are here. It's absolutely fantastic the way that it's, it's kept in such great um, tact and condition. So shortly we'll be doing another piece, part three, uh, in relation to the church itself of the Franciscan Friary here in Askeaton, but when hopefully the open up um, here, when time permits, it is incredible that people should come from all over to learn about Irish history, our, our belief, the difference between Celtic Christianity, Roman Christianity, which now dominates the, the, the Christian world from Rome. So we'll just take a concluding part of that and we'll be back with you shortly with part three and thanks again to Billy Maguire and Anthony Sheehy.